So I decided to do a video journal. Um, it just popped into my mind today and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I don't know how often I'm going to do it. Um, I don't really want to set any parameters on it, honestly. I really just wanted to do this in order to document my journey of my upcoming growth. So a little backstory is that I, um, I was in a relationship for just under a year that ended in, uh, it really ended in, in December 2016, but we were on a break as of November 2016, and um, it was a relationship that I really wanted to hold on to. Um, it was a relationship that at the ending of it, I knew that I knew there was a greater lesson. I knew that the lesson was to um, to really release my codependency. I knew that the lesson was to truly love myself and to not depend on another human being or any outside circumstance, um, anything outside of me for my happiness. And I had started my spiritual journey but it was really in that moment that that I felt my relationship was being taken from me, that I hit my knees and knew that the real work had to begin. So that's the backstory of of where I am now, um, five months later, five months after the break, four months after the breakup. Uh, it's April two thousand seventeen, and. About a month and a half ago, I had an idea, I guess it wasn't really an idea, something came to me, um, telling me that it was time to kind of let everything go. Um, I, I've made a lot of growth personally in the last four months, personally and spiritually for sure. Um, but something was telling me to to not renew my lease. Um, my lease ends the end of July. Something was telling me to not renew my lease. Something was telling me, what if, what if you got rid of all of your shit and lived out of Airbnbs? And so I, I sat down and really started looking. The wind just blew over my phone. <laughs> This is real. This is real shit. Um, I will invest in a tripod at some point. I, I'm seriously on my, I'm going to close my window a little bit. I'm on my uh, second tripod that I broke. This one, well, the first one broke, the second one I broke unintentionally. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, so I'm not, I'm not renewing my lease. Um, I initially looked at areas of the country that I that I desire to go to. I feel like my soul has been called to the West Coast for a long time. Um, but I'm also open to, to what comes up for me. Um, and so today, when I was cleaning um, and listening to Kyle Cease, who I'm like obsessed with his stuff right now. He has a bunch of stuff on YouTube. He has a podcast. Um, I just, I really love his stuff. So I was listening to his podcast today and in the second episode, he was just talking about documenting any big journey. And I thought, you know, this is probably going to be one of the biggest journeys of my 35 years. Um, and so I, I document a lot through Facebook posts. I document through blogs, but I thought that video would be uh, a more kind of raw, real, and authentic way to document. So um, my lease is up the end of July. 
my my current plan is to get rid of most of my stuff. Um, basically just keep my piano. I'm thinking maybe two boxes of stuff and and that's about my classical violin. Um, I'm putting it in storage and then packing a suitcase and going with my cats <laughs> wherever I feel called to go. Um, and so I, I've been starting to purge stuff um, and I started listing my musical instruments to sell. Um, every, like I said, everything except for my classical violin and the piano, but I had a guitar, um, I have a mandolin, I have an electric violin, and then just a bunch of gear from being in a band for seven years. And, um, and it just, it no longer serves me. And so it, that, that was not an easy decision to come to. Um, I've moved it from Gainesville to Houston to now two homes in Chicago, but it's been sitting in closets for seven years. Um, and so, so this is it. I, like I said, I'm, I'm documenting my journey of getting rid of a bunch of shit. I'm documenting my journey of, um, of the emotions, I guess, of not being attached to someone, something, someplace. Um, I am documenting the journey of truly committing to, to finding myself in a way that I never have before. And I know that there will be things that come up spiritually um, as, I, as I go through this process. So this is day one and we'll see what happens.